Ricky Smiley Morning Show, 10 minutes after the top of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Miss Bernice. Yeah! Yeah! Janie, good morning. Good morning. Just another day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Mm-hmm. And we we so happy this morning. Ebony was talking about uh 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 the step show. Uh huh. It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show step off. It's the last week. Janie, we need to go and get up there and bring our choir robes, and we gonna sing "Order My Steps." <laughs> All my steps. <laughs> and I just want to congratulate the... the, the The 100 midgets in white shoes sung they butts off yesterday. 100 midgets in white shoes. Yeah, the program, 100 midgets in white shoes. Well, just it in. Yeah, oh. just, <laughs> She was there. She was there. And one of the songs that they wrote called You Ain't Never Too Short to Give Him the Praise. Uh, you couldn't see half of them. You couldn't see half of them. But you can hear them. They can sing. Them altos were strong, Janie. They got up in that choir stand, and you had to stand up to see their eyes because if you sit down, you can only see the top of their head and some of their foreheads. Because these were real sharp ones. They got some tall ones, but these were the sharp ones, baby. They said the sharp ones. They said them Negro songs. So help me, sweet Jesus. You never too short to praise. Well, you see them marching in, but once they got in the choir stand, they disappeared. That's why you have to close your eyes and stay focused. Keep your eyes on him. <laughs> we all we asking all members to pray for our Boy Scout troop leader Hank Hester. <laughs> our Boy Scout troop leader Hank Hester, who is in the hospital recovering from a tragic accident last week. <laughs> he had took his troop to visit a petting zoo and was What happened, Miss Jenkins? <laughs> Just bring tears in my eyes. So sad. You okay? <laughs> he was attacked by a billy goat that was mixed with, mixed with a Rockweiler. That's a punk towel. <laughs> it bit one of his hands off when he tried to feed it so he ate the sausages. Wait a minute, it was a petting zoo and it got the head? <laughs> yeah, he was trying to feed it some Vienna sausages. And he bit one of his hands off. And he said, bah! Anyway. <laughs> there will be a meeting. There will be a meeting for all members, for all members who are born without knees, immediately following this morning. The meeting will be held downstairs because it takes them way too long to get upstairs. So the meeting going to be held downstairs because they can't walk upstairs. But after they have the meeting downstairs, how the hell are they going to get back? <laughs> so, we encourage everybody to bring a sleeping bag. It's been a night till we get somebody to help get them out of there. I don't know what they're meeting about. Anyway, <laughs> home going service for 89 year old Johnny Earl White. You know, Johnny Earl White died. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Gone too soon. Gone too soon. How old was he? 89. Oh, Jesus, I just talked to Johnny Earl White yesterday. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> we'll be held on this. The funeral going to be this Saturday. 
He's been in the hospital since September the 29th after he had a heart attack, a stroke, <laughs> kidney failure, a seizure, muscle spasm, and a choking spell. But he had survived all that, and Janie, he was coming back around. What killed him was he was trying to listen to some music on his iPod and had plugged it up next to the bed. And when the nurse came to give him a sponge bath, he had dropped it in the water by mistake and got electrocuted. Uh, the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.